Oh, hello, it's me, Vicky, again. How are you all? Okay, so we're going to learn some more English today. And what we're going to look at today are, is the past simple. Now, if you're uh, interested in what level this video is, this really is level A1. If you're looking at doing an exam, it's level A1. But basically, it's a beginner with a base. So, beginner with a base, intermediate, maybe not absolute beginner. Okay, so I'm going to hold up some sentences and you have to decide what is the past tense of the verb. For example, so number one, we to the museum three days ago. And the verb that we're going to be using is go. Do you know the past simple of go? Okay, so what should it be? Now's the time to pause your video if you want to think about it because I'm going to give you the answer. We went, we went to the museum three days ago. We went to the museum three days ago. In number two, we have two verbs. We have the verb here and the verb become. Victor some bad news yesterday from, oh, sorry, some bad news from John yesterday and sad. So what's the past tense of here and what's the past tense of become? Now's the time to pause your video. Victor heard some bad news from John yesterday and became sad. Heard, became. So Victor heard some bad news from John yesterday and became sad. Number three. This is a question, so we need an auxiliary verb. There's only one main verb, bring, but we need an auxiliary verb to make the interrogative, the question. So, something, she, something, your books back last week? Hmm, what do you think? So, it's, now's the time to pause the video. Did she bring your books back last week? So because we have the auxiliary verb, we don't change the main verb. Did she bring your books back last week? Did she bring your books back last week? Okay, number four. bit longer this one. They often something something questions in meetings just make presentations. Now the verb is answer yeah answer but we need it in the negative okay so again this is using an auxiliary verb they often don't answer questions in meetings, just make presentations. So they often don't answer questions in meetings, just make presentations. Number five. I clean my house last week but it is oh, oh I give it a oh. <laughs> I clean my house last week but it dirty again now so first verb is past tense but actually the second verb is present tense so the verbs we are missing are cleaned and is I cleaned my house last week, 
but it is dirty again now. Okay, number six. Mark have an operation on his stomach last year and now he have no problem with it. So two halves, but one is past tense, yeah? First one is past simple. Second one now is present tense. So the verbs we are missing are had and has. Mark had an operation on his stomach last year and now he has no problem with it. Okay? Number seven. I open the window and take a deep breath before the exam yesterday. These are both past simple. Okay, so what do you think they are? Well, I'll tell you. Opened and took. I opened the window and took a deep breath before the exam yesterday. I opened the window and took a deep breath before the exam yesterday. Okay, number eight. How many do we have? Still have a few more to go. Number eight. He, something, go fishing many times last summer because he, something like, spending time near the lake. So, past simple of go and the past simple of like. Hmm, what are they? So, we have he went fishing many times last summer because he likes spending time near the, the lake. I've put the second one in present tense, but it could be past, liked. He went fishing many times last summer because he liked spending time near the lake or because he likes, maybe he still likes doing it. Okay, number nine. Nina sits in the park alone yesterday and read a book. So these two are definitely the past simple. Past simple of sit and the past simple of read. Nina sat in the park alone yesterday and read a book. So Nina sat in the park alone yesterday and read a book. Okay, number 10. The children, past tense of do, an exam yesterday. What's the past sim simple tense of do? Did. The children did an exam yesterday. Same again for number 11, really. We're in the past tense. When, past tense of do, so it's did again. When did your clients sign the document? When did your client sign the document? Number 12. Thomas, past tense of wake up, early in the morning and past tense of put on, his best clothes. Now, wake up becomes woke up and put on doesn't change. Put doesn't change for the past tense. So Thomas woke up early in the morning and put on his best clothes. Thomas woke up early in the morning and put on his best clothes. Number 13. Mandy, past tense of break, her arm two weeks ago and 
Now, this is now, so this is present tense. Can write, but in the negative, mm, in present tense. Mandy broke her arm two weeks ago and she can't write now. Mandy broke her arm two weeks ago and she can't write now. Number 14. Chris and Mary often, past tense of go, camping when they were young, but now, present tense, they, present tense of prefer, hotels. So, Chris and Mary often went camping when they were young, but now they prefer hotels. Yeah, Chris and Mary often went camping when they were young, but now they prefer hotels. Number 15. The police officer, past tense of speak, to the driver last week because he, past tense of break, some traffic rules. So, what do you think? What's the past tense of speak? Well, it's spoke. And the past tense of break is broke. So, we've got spoke and broke. The police officer spoke to the driver last week because he broke some traffic rules. I never do that, ever, never, never. Okay, so we'll go through them one more time. You can practice the pronunciation. We went to the museum three days ago. Number two. Victor heard some bad news from John yesterday and became sad. Number three. Did she bring your books back last week? Number four. They often don't answer questions in meetings, just make presentations. Number five. I cleaned my house last week, but it is dirty again now. Number six. Mark had an operation on his stomach last year, and now he has no problem with it. Number seven, I opened the window and took a deep breath before the exam yesterday. Number eight, he went fishing many times last summer because he liked or likes spending time near the lake. Number nine, Nina sat in the park alone yesterday and read a book. Number 10. The children did an exam yesterday. 11. When did your client sign the document? 12. Thomas woke up early in the morning and put on his best clothes. 13. Mandy broke her arm two weeks ago and she can't write now. Number 14. Chris and Mary often went camping when they were young, but now they prefer hotels. Number 15. The police officer spoke to the driver last week because he broke some traffic rules. Okay, you understand okay? I hope so. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not already subscribed, please, please consider subscribing. And I will see you, as usual, very soon in the next video. And until then, may your God Go with you. Thank you. Bye.